My name is Willander and uh, I'm a chef by trade. Uh, I've been in the kitchen since I was 17 and uh, it's been my life for all that time. And it's not until like two years ago when I really went into uh, seaweed and exploring uh, different types of seaweed that grows around Iceland and, and see what the other Nordic countries are doing with these, uh, these seaweed. And the health benefits of seaweed is just amazing. People are linking it to low cancers in South Korea and parts of Japan when people uh, consume a lot of seaweed. It's a challenge to change the Icelandic people diet or the Western market diet, but people are more familiar with seaweed as a snack, as a dried packaged thing with flavors, or they know seaweed, of course, as nori around sushi. So, so that's kind of the Western take on, on seaweed. They're not that familiar with it. Yes, they are also in, in as a garnish in a miso soup, but uh, usually, like, my friends are not bringing home seaweed to cook with it. The flavor umami is something that uh, everybody is familiar with. Not everybody knows where it comes from. Uh, it was formally discovered in 1908 by a Japanese gentleman that loved his uh, wife's soup so much that he really wanted to go into the technical details of finding out where that flavor came from. And she told him that it came from the dashi, which is a Japanese broth from seaweed and bonito flakes, which is uh, shaved, uh, dried and smoked tuna. So I'm going to do a little version of it, which is a seaweed soup. So I'm going to make a dashi from Icelandic uh, forest kelp, which is uh, not the kombu that they use in Japan. And I'm going to use uh, for garnish Atlantic wakame, which is uh, very close to the wakame that we use, the green thing that you will get the sushi. But this is in its dry form. So for the dashi, we're going to make a little broth. We will take the forest kelp and put it in water for at least 15 minutes, but it can also be overnight. And why we do that is that uh, it will take any bitter flavors out, most of them. And then take the sliminess of the seaweed and we rinse it and then we put it in the stock later. But for the Atlantic wakame, um, which is a kind of a stringy seaweed, you will see it grows tall and it has this core here in the middle. I'm also going to soak that in water then cut around the cord and uh, use that as a garnish into the soup. Let's start with soaking the, the forest kelp. While this is soaking now for 15 minutes to a half an hour, we're gonna start on the other uh, ingredients for the soup. But um, you can see here before we begin, um, the Atlantic wakame as it is uh, in a dry form. We also use that into salt blends, which uh, gives a very nice flavor. What I'm making is a lemongrass infused uh, forest kelp broth. Uh, so we use a little bit of lemongrass, um, some veggie stock, and then I have garnished like carrots and ginger and um, uh, daikon, some scallion. Uh, I use a tiny little bit of uh, tom yum paste just to give it a little uh, spiciness and uh, then we put some noodles in it but you know you will see how it comes together but uh, the main ingredients is that umami base from the forest kelp that I will show you how I boil and then how we will uh, dice up finely the Atlantic wagame and use that as a garnish into the soup. We just, uh, I just peel the carrots quickly and um, I'm going to use a mandolin to uh, slice them into julienne, which is a kind of a string cut vegetable. Nice to have um, the crunchiness from the, from the carrots and um, daikon. Uh, for the ginger, I always like to peel ginger with a spoon. I'm going to start with the daikon and use the, the blade from the uh, mandolin. And I get these nice little strings. And then I just cut a little bit of the end of the, the carrots. So we just ginger is one of my favorite. It uh, just adds a little bit of the spiciness and kind of brings the flavor out. So I just cut them in uh, julienne as well. 
some of the challenges being a vegetarian or a vegan is that people are sometimes low in iodine. A seaweed is the greatest thing because it's very rich in iodine and that's where the vegan and the vegetarian has been turning into uh, to get the source of iodine. So I've been uh, soaking the uh, forest kelp now for over half an hour and what I'm doing is that I'm, I'm getting the slime off or the enzymes here because I don't, wanna, I don't want my soup to be slimy. So I put it back into fresh water and uh, I put it over here. I bring it to simmer just until the bubbles come on the inside of the pot and I don't want it to boil because it can turn slimy or bitter. I like to keep the heat on low uh, just to bring it up slowly. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm gonna cut up the Atlantic wagame. It has um, a string here in the middle. That's usually not common uh, in the CVT here around Iceland, but um, it's, it's, it's good, it's great, it's good for you, but it is kind of a fibery, so I'm not gonna use that in the soup. So I'm gonna cut that out in this case. So after I've uh, cut it off the stem, I just roll it up like this. So it becomes like, almost like hand cut noodles. Just put this on the side and I don't do anything else with it. I just add it into the hot broth after I've seasoned it up uh, when we serve it. Now it's the perfect temperature. It's just almost up to boil and I'm going to take out the forest kelp. Now I can actually uh, continue working the soup. I've taken this out, I put that on the side. So now I'm just going to let that simmer and I'm going to put in a, a, just a little bit of veggie stock just to give it a little more base. And um, I have some tamium paste, uh, just a tiny little bit. So. That's all the additional flavors here that I give it like that. And uh, we whisk that together. The flavor is great, <clears throat> but it needs a bit of salt. And what I've made, uh, my own salt blend with uh, dulls and uh, sweet kelp. So it can use a bit of salt, but also get some other base of uh, seaweed flavor in there. Before I put my garnish in, I just wanna put a little bit of lemongrass just for a minute to uh, infuse the, uh, the broth. So I just leave it in here while I get my ingredients ready. I'm gonna add the, uh, I'm gonna add the garnish into the soup. So I put my carrots, um, some bell pepper, and um, a little bit of the radish but I like to put the radish in at the end. So I put the noodles in and um, I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit. When I put the noodles, I pre-cooked them, you know, for whatever type of noodles you're using. I use the pre-cooked, I don't put them in raw. Put a tiny bit of salt because sometimes uh, the broth can change after you put the noodles in. So I'm gonna add in the, the seaweed, the Atlantic wagame that I cut. So I just put it in here um, and we do the, do the final tasting. I'm gonna take out my lemongrass. Now we do the, um, the final tasting. It's perfect. Now we plate it. So now is the plating. Like to get a little bit of everything, the noodles, the seaweed, the vegetable. It literally smells awesome. So here we go. Just gonna add a little bit of the broth in as well. So the final touch is, is that I, I like to do a one slice of lime that people can squeeze in, put a little bit of uh, green peppers and for extra heat uh, just a few slices of red chili some uh, peanuts a little bit of uh, ginger on top and I like to uh, throw on top just a couple of uh, coriander leaves 
Now this uh, lemongrass infused uh, seaweed broth with uh, Atlantic wakame is ready.